Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here. Um, what I have done is pulled a few cards for you. Um, this will be about your life in general, Aquarius, and this is about your love life, okay? So it looks like right now for some of you Aquarius, uh, just in general, things are happening really quickly for you. There's a lot of communication about how to further or better yourself or better your situation or communication about money, um, large sums of money, inheritance, 401k, taxes, uh, real estate, things of those natures. Um, just documents and important important business um, right now a lot, lot of that is going on for you um, things are moving fast it seems like everything is happening all at once for you um, things are coming in sync or yeah they're pretty much happening all at once what spirit wants you to know is that um, you're ready for this um, don't give up don't doubt yourself Especially if it's about, for some of you, getting a new job, getting to a better position, being a leader in uh, a traditional job like a, you know, like a manager or supervisor. If you've never held that position, Spirit says that you're ready for it. You're you're knowledgeable. You're well learned. You um, you have all that you you need to do the job. You, you have the experience, the skill. It says believe in yourself, you know. Um, have the courage. And if you don't give up and you believe in yourself and you have courage, it says the outcome here could be that you are then surrounded by like-minded individuals. Um, you can even be a mentor, become a mentor, or you can have your own mentor. Um you're definitely going to be over something where you, where you get to direct it and organize it the way you want. You get to structure it the way you want. Uh, some of you are going up for leader, leadership positions or, or you're called to be pushed into the front, the forefront in some leadership role. Um, you're doubting yourself. The cards say don't doubt yourself because... If you just have the courage and you believe in yourself and you believe that you can do this job, have this position, be successful in it, then you'll get exactly what you want. You'll be aligned with maybe, a, a, if it's a job, a larger company, uh, a corporation that uh, will have need for you, not just now, but possibly years to come. you have a sense of stability and traditionalism in 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 your life uh you definitely could be excuse me Ooh, excuse me uh becoming you definitely could be yeah walking into some type of leadership role here some of you are discouraging yourself um so don't do that um you're going to get what you want you're going to get that that um traditional job that alignment with that big company okay um so in love some of you are already mourning a situation thinking negatively about it or just having negative or very sad and sorry feelings toward a connection that you're in or if you're dating someone, you're just, you're mourning, mourning the end before the end even happens. Um, you could be constantly going over what happened in the past and what, and then it makes you think about what, what could possibly happen now. Um, you're resting in a, in a, in a position of uh, not making a decision. To come out of that 
into something better for yourself. Um, you're hesitating before making the, de the determination, the decision within yourself that you have found um, a very uh, beneficial, mutually beneficial relationship, a successful one. I think for some of you, you don't, you haven't had success in relation in so long that the negative, the bitterness, the hurt, the pain, just it plagues you, especially when you feel triggered. Um, if that person's phone goes off late at night or they don't call you back immediately or they say something that maybe your ex said, you know, you, it, triggers take you to a place of, oh, woe is me. Um, look what happened in the past. That's going to happen again. When you really have five of cups, you have two cups here. Uh, that relationship that you're in or looking for. Uh, one that's going to serve you. And it says rest in that energy. You can only do something with the two cups upright. You can do nothing with the three cups spilled over. So um, make a decision here and now to um, only think positive commit yourself to thinking positive commit yourself to this person don't fear what could happen you you have fear of commitment not because you aren't sure that you can commit but you fear commitment because of everything that has happened to you so it says don't that's the energy you're in the advice here is the queen of cups your relationship is ascending. You, you're falling in love. It's going to the next level. The both of you feel the same way. There might be a bit of standoffish energy just because neither of you are spring chickens. This is not your first rodeo. Both of you are looking at each other with the side eye, but still looking at each other with googly eyes too. So just know that in, in getting to know someone and dating someone, you know, you have to get past the energy of a fear. And making fear-based decisions or having fear-based thoughts and acting on those thoughts. So it says that your relationship is ascending. It's, it, you guys could both be in love with each other, whether it's spoken or unspoken. Um, yeah, it says know that you, you're giving your cup. You're giving yourself to someone who's also extending their cup. Because the outcome is the Knight of Cups. So... There's you extending yourself. There's this other person meeting you with the offer of emotional investment. Uh, let's get married. Let's get yeah engaged. Um, let's move in together. Let's have a baby. You know, whatever. But uh, someone is investing in you emotionally. And someone could be investing in you um tangibly uh i'm here somebody wants to go back to school maybe someone is giving significant advice maybe even um, helping with finances and some um, something of that nature uh you're learning this person like they're learning you um you're finding that your stability can very well be in this relationship and your partner is finding that you know they could have a, a stable uh, union uh, relationship with you also. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, anybody. But the cards want you to understand that you're going about this in the right way. You're learning them like they're learning you. Take at this point... Especially if it's a new relationship under five to six months. Um, know that it's still kinks to be worked out. You, they're learning you. You're learning them. But this is a, 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 a fairly nice relationship that could possibly blossom into something long term. Okay. So don't fret. It, it's all good. Um come out of 
crying over old stuff um have the courage in, in your you know in in career or finance to be um as independent be the leader be the forefront uh it's time you're ready uh, just have the courage okay so aquarius if this reading resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the phone readings being 50 percent off just email uh send an email to the email address below uh requesting the coupon code and book your uh 50 off phone reading okay um what else what else what else uh, also you can text the number below uh a question or eight if you have <laughs> uh pay for your questions on your mobile device and receive the answer to your questions on your mobile device thank you take care and stay safe guys